In this video, I will find out the reaction for the frame when B, C are fixed supports and the D is the pin and A is the ruler. And, and if here at B and C there are pins, there are pin connection between this member and this member, then what we will do, then we will divide, then we will separate these segments and solve them as a simple beam. These will be the reactions and but now what I will do, I will solve this member, this complete shape as a one member. So I will take the moment at point D. This is my point D where I am I will take the moment. You can also take the moment at A, no doubt. So I will take the submission of all the moments is equal to zero and the counterclockwise moment is equal to zero about point uh, the counterclockwise moment taken as positive and clockwise taken as negative this va is the force and 20 is the moment arm this will create a moment this will create a clockwise moment about point d so taken as negative this 20 is the distance of this force and this point this 20 and 5 into 20 5 into 20 is the UDL force and 10 is its moment arm multiplying this force with the moment arm I will get the moment value it creates the counterclockwise moment about point D so taken it as a positive and this 550 is the point load point load multiplied by 5 moment arm. I will get the moment it is counterclockwise taken it also as a positive. So here you can see only there are three moments. First moment is created by this VA force which is equal to VA multiplied by 20. The second moment is created by this UDL which is 5 into 20 is the force. 10 is the moment arm which is equal to half of this 20 and the third moment is created by this point load which is equal to 5 is the force and 50 is the force and 5 is the moment arm and their sum is equal to 0. Here you can see these HD and VD do not create any moment about point D because they are passing through point D. Their sum is equal to 0. Arranging, by arranging this, I will get VA is equal to 62.5 kips. It is acting over here. Similarly, you can find out VD by taking moment at point A, no doubt. So, but what I will do, I will for the simplification, I will take the sum of all the vertical forces is equal to 0 and the upward force taken as positive and downward taken as negative. Here VD is acting upward. This 62.5 is also act acting upward and 5 into 20 is the UDL force acting downward. So the sum of these vertical forces is equal to 0. You can see there are only three vertical forces VD, 62.5 and this UD. This 50 and HD, these two are the horizontal forces, not vertical. So the sum of these three vertical forces is equal to 0. And by arranging this, I will get VD is equal to 37.5, which is acting over here. So these are my vertical reaction, 62.5 and 37.5. Now I will find out this horizontal reaction. For this what I will do, I will take the sum of all the horizontal forces is equal to 0. You can also find out this HD by taking moment at point C. Take the moment at point C and find out HD. Take the moment about point B, find the HD. But the simple way is this one. When one force is unknown and all the others are known, you go through this method. So the sum of all the horizontal forces is equal to 0 
xt is acting along the positive x axis taken as positive and 50 is acting along the negative x axis so taken as negative the sum of these two horizontal forces is equal to 0 arranging this i will get xd is equal to 50 kips which is equal to this horizontal force so these are the reactions for my frame and now I will take these members for drawing the SFD and BMD diagram. I will take the shear forces at point A. The V1 is the shear force at point A. It will be equal to reaction. Start the drawing SFD and BMD always from the left side. It is easy to draw. When these type of conventions you are using as I am explaining, explaining you in this video. The V1 is this shear force will always equal to the reaction over here, positive. And the V3, this is the V3. How this V3 is came? V1 is the previous moment, previous shear force minus the loading area. 62.5 is the previous shearing force over here, minus the loading, loading area. How the loading area is? 5 into 20. This 5 and 20 is the loading area. This UDL. Subtract it from this 62.5 because it is the load is acting downward. So that is why we will subtract this load value from the previous shear force. We will get the shear force at over here. This is the shear force. We will from 1 from B to C. We will move direct from B to C because here no load is changing only one UDL is acting so there will be only one type of UDL like this from B to C and here V2 will be 0 at some what point we can I can find out this point by slope method this is 62 and minus minus 37.5 divided by 20 is the whole span this is the slope of this line is equal to 62.5 divided by x this is how we will find out x 12.5 from b point where the shear force is equal to 0 and this is 7.5 remaining distance and now I will draw the BMD diagram the bending moment m1 is equal to 0 over here because in this case I have as I have said you earlier that the no moment is transferred between B points so the moment is 0 at here at point B M1 is equal to 0 and M2 will be equal to M1 previous moment plus SFD area this A1 is the SFD area this one this is this one is the SFD area which is equal to 62.5 into 12.5 divided by 2. This is 390 is the moment value at this point. At x is equal to 12.5. At that point this is the moment value. And now the M3. M3 is equal to M2 is the previous moment plus SFD area. M2 minus this because this is downward so 37.5 into 7.5 divided by 2 this will be shear force area subtract this value from the previous moment I will get the moment at that point here the moment will not be equal to 0 but it will be equal to 250 because this 250 is moment is transferred from this C point to another member here you can see this 250 moment will be transferred from here to this member so that is why here the moment will not be equal to 0 but it will be equal to 250 it will automatically come when you calculate as it is here this is how the SFT and BMD drawn for this UDL and now I will draw the SFD and BMD for this member by the same method this is the member for my simplification I will rotate it and take it as a horizontal as you can see it now this is horizontal member C member came here and 
D member came here and the forces are also rotated as they were the 37 37 was along the member and now here are they are along the member and the 50 and this 50 are perpendicular to the member and here the same they are acting perpendicular to the member and this is the clockwise as it is it was here so rotate it for your simplification and draw the SFD diagram by simple method v1 is equal to vc the reaction here no reaction is acting so here you can see it from here at c there is no reaction so at the c the shear force will be equal to reaction which is zero and here the shear force at that point will be equal to the point load acting downward and here as here from c to this point no load was acting so the shear force at c was zero and here is also shear force zero in this region but here in this region also no load is acting so the shear force will be constant this is and this is my sfd diagram for this shape and now i will draw the bmd shape bmd at m1 here it is clockwise moment is acting at point c taken it as a positive as you are drawing the sfd from left to right take the clockwise moment as a positive this is i have taken over here this is external moment is acting so take it as a here and m2 is equal to m1 plus sfd area here there is no sfd area so m2 will be equal to 250 which, which is m1 plus 0 this is my m2 which is also equal to 250 and this is my m3 which is equal to m2 previous moment plus sfd area this is my sfd area 250 is the previous moment minus 50 into 5 this is my sfd area thus i will get m2 is equal to 0 because at point d there was a pin so that is why at point d the moment is zero this is my sfd and this is my bmd diagram for this i have just rotated them as they are and this was my members that i have separated here no moment is acting on this member and no vertical shear force is acting on this member so there will be no shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this member for drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram it is must that moment either moment act or the perpendicular shear force must act on the member here those both are not act, act, acting so no shear force and bending moment will be for this region these are the shear force and bending moment diagrams for the respective members and what i will do i will simply join them simply join their baseline bc C, join the c with c and b with b and simply similarly join the for the bending moments this is my the frame and this is my shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for the for this